So let's start to draw a arbitrary line with React Chart.js. And this one will be a very basic one where you create a custom plugin and drawing a line from one side all the way to the other side to the bottom. Let's start to look how to do this. So now it is time to create a custom plugin on the line chart here. So to do this, first of all, we're going to import. And what we want to import here is basically the line object because we're going to create a line chart. And you can give it anything here, line or anything you want. But basically, we're going to say you the line from React dash chart JS number two because it's the component React chart JS number two. So once we have this, we're going to import the chart JS components that we need. So what we're going to say here, we say chart as chart JS comma, and then we're going to put in here all the elements that we need or components that we need from chart yes. so we say line element because we want to have the line itself we want to draw secondly we want to have the category scale category scale and the category scale is basically the x-axis and then we have here the linear scale and the linear scale comma that would be the y-axis and then what we have more is we want to have the point or the dots so we say point element so we have these circular points and then we have the tooltip because I want to make sure we have a tooltip showing and finally we have the legend as well. So once we did that, I'm going to say here from chart.js as a string chart.js semicolon. So then once we did this, we want to say chart.js, which is basically the reference to this, to register and register means to activate them, to register all these what we call three shakeable items so in here we can just copy all of this here except for this one here above and put it in there there we are so now we've got all of this we can uh, save this and of course you can see here nothing happens yet because we need to now draw the chart to draw the chart what i want to do here is i want to create a div and uh, no need for class here of course this is not css then we have another div here, closing div. And then within here, I'm going to use the line tag, line tag. And this line tag here, the reason I'm using line is because we indicate line here. So we're drawing a line chart, but the way to draw the line chart is by having the elements here. If I would put in here basically the bar, we could draw, draw a bar chart because we have the bar elements activated, even though we say here line. So this is very important. Put it back to line. This here can be anything you want to name doesn't matter as long as whatever you have here with caps locks is identical here so then what i want to do here is start to put in these object or these data objects here let's say here the data object then we have another one is here for the options query braces options and then if i would save this now you get an error here because we don't or we haven't yet defined the constant of data and options which are here so what I'm going to do here now is the following. We're going to say here. Uh, oh, sorry, not in here, but of course here. Just before the return, because the return will show the div. So what we want to do is, before we turn it, we want to load all these objects. In here, constant data equals. Then we're going to say here, and this is just basic chart.js blocks. If you're very familiar with my website, those are just the identical ones. So um, constant data, and then we're going to get the labels. And I will just use here just three string values Monday Tuesday and Wednesday all right so once we have this the next thing I want to say is the data sets and then of course index well uh, this is an array but what I want to do here is we're going to create only one data set here so the first data set here then first of all is the label and the label will be uh, a string value three six and nine and I would say here next one will be the data itself and the data will be an array and we say here number three number six and then maybe number nine and comma three point six nine all right then what we have more is the background color you can just give it the background color here so the legend will have a nice color as well we could just indicate this as black once we did this um, we can say here the border color and the border color could be black as well i guess you should maybe we should do this gray and we can do this aqua that's a, that's a common one i've been using so that's fine for now so once we did this we have that 
I guess we could say the final one is the tension, and the tension is 0 0.4, so we have a nice elastic chart. So if I save this, you can see something happened here, but of course it's loading, but it still gives an error. Why? We didn't define options yet, which is the second object we need to define. So semicolon here, now we're going to say your constant options equals, and then we're going to say here, well basically nothing. We don't have to even put anything in here, you can see it already works. If you're wondering why are we having no uh, tension, so where's the elasticity of this item? Because we didn't put any value in here. So if I move this value, let's say this is number 6, and this one will be 3 point something, there you are. Now we get something here because we only have 3 items here, so I need to put it here. Thursday, save, and you can see here as I do that, it starts to work. Anyway, let's keep it on 3 for now. So now we have these here. What I want to do is I want to just draw a simple, simple object here and I will go deeper in other videos. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to just draw a plugin. I want to create a custom plugin where we're going to draw a line from here all the way to there. That will be probably a nice one. So we're going to say here, uh, we can say here plugin or plugin, sorry, that's the right term, it's plugins equals and then what we're going to do here, curly braces and then bracket because it's an array value. Very important because if you want to have more plugins, that's why we have the array values. So then in here, let's say here, uh, background, uh, I guess chart background or something like that. That's okay. I'll just say here, chart background. That's maybe a better def definition. Constant chart background equals curly braces. So now, what I want to do here is first of all give it an ID, although we don't really, we won't be using it, so, but this is a common practice to my other videos as well. So then what we can say is when would we like to draw these background color? Let's say here before the data set draw, meaning we want to make sure that this line or the background color or line that we're going to make will be underneath this data set line here. So this data set line will be on top. Very important for us, so it will be nice and clear. So I'm going to say here, first of all, three specific objects, chart, arcs, and plugin options. And then in here, we're going to start working on it. And what I'm going to say here is constant. I'm going to use here object destruction. If you don't understand object destruction, I have a video in the description box understanding object destruction for chart yet. Very important to understand. So then I'm going to say here, CTX comma chart area and we say equals chart. Then what I want to do here is to draw the items. So by the way, if you don't understand chart area on uh, in the video, also in the description box, understanding chart area for chart yes. Very important to know. Basically what I want to do is I want to just draw a line from this point to from this point to here or somewhere. Let's from one side to the other side. We're going to make that one. It will be a nice thick line. So what I'm going to say here is CTX that we can say stroke or fill. Are we going to draw a line? Well, in this case, maybe stroke style is more better or stroke uh, style. Yes. And why stroke style? Because we're working with a canvas. Basically, what we're doing now is drawing in the canvas. And I forget something else. I need to say save this to save all variables above. So we're going to say here now stroke style. This is necessary to have a default reset state. So now we have here the stroke style, and the stroke style is a color that we can use. And let's use here, uh, let's use pink for now. I have no other other one in mind. Next time I will have a uh, default set of colors. Then what I want to do here, we have the pink color here. Then I'm going to say CTX dot line width, and the line width here will be maybe if we want to make thick five pixels in thickness. Once we did that, I'm going to say a CTX dot move to and basically what we're doing now is we're going to select the starting point for the line and what i want to do with the starting point for the line i want to start let's say here at number uh well this nine here and going all the way to there to do this i need to do something with the chart area i'm going to get the left right and probably the width position that's the one i need uh, probably i need the top let's put them all just in case bottom and height so I'm not sure we're going to use all, probably not, but we just put them all in there. 
just in case. So now we have this here, and what I want to do here is I want to move it, and this is the X and Y starting point. So where do I want to start? Well, I want to start at this point here, which is basically within the chart area, and this is the top, and this is the left side. So left is for the X value, and we have the coordinates here already, because of the chart area gives us all the coordinates. The top as well, we can just grab that and put it in here. So this is our starting point, and then we're going to say CTX dot line two to draw the line, and make sure you only have a capital locks on or capitalize T. That's very important. And then here again X and Y. That's where we have to move it. And what I want to do is let's say I want to go from here all the way down to Wednesday here, which is basically the bottom right side. So I'm going to say here the right side, and then here bottom. So once I do this and save this, you will see nothing happens. We're not drawing anything. And the reason why is we didn't give the command to draw. This is the intention, and I repeat, intention to move, or starting point and an intention to draw the line. So now we need to have the command to draw the line. The intention is the, doesn't equal drawing. So we're going to say now here, ctx.stroke to draw the line. Save this, refresh, and there you are. Are. And then you can see here, for some reason, it bleeds over. All right, this is the reason why you have the save here. So we're going to say now, after this, ctx dot restore save. There you are. All right, interesting. It still keeps on. So we're going to do something else more. So what we need to do here is basically uh, close it or indicate that this line that we make is a unique shape that is independent of any other items and this is why we have this bleeding over effect so what we're going to do here is just quite straightforward you're going to say here before the move to you're going to say here uh, ctx dot begin path indicating we're going to create a new line independent of all so if i save this refresh there we are and now we remove this bleeding over effect here absolutely phenomenal and that's basically it so we draw a nice simple line in chart.js with react